Today we're going to be looking at a game called Famaze. This is a game I found on OneMoreLevel.com, which is an interesting looking game that actually reminded me of the NES era. The story of the game is as follows. The Mad King has turned the happy rutabagas of the land into monsters and is searching for the magic recipe for royal rutabug pudding. You must delve into the king's domain to rescue the rutabugs, find the gem of truth, and uncover the recipe before the king eats everyone. Other than it seeming to be a pretty silly story, it's a pretty simple goal. Collect these items and get from point A to point B with no problems. You can also choose one difficulty when you start the game, which is easy mode, but once you beat the game you can choose expert mode, which will challenge your skills that you have learned throughout the first playthrough. As for the characters, you can choose between three. Each is unique in their own way and has some kind of ability that the other does not. You can choose to be a knight, a thief, or a wizard. The knight can do charge attacks and he starts out with a potion in his item slot. He's good for fighting and actually charging through all the enemies. Then you have the thief which can disable traps which is more useful in the long run. He starts off with a teleportation item. Lastly there is the wizard which is who I chose for this review. He can create items and he starts off with a fireball spell. He's for more of the defensive and offensive side than anything else. For the character you picked is the destiny you choose and it will determine your fate throughout this game. The gameplay is actually pretty simple. The only keys you need to use is the directional pad and the number 1 and number 2 keys on your keyboard for your items. All you have to do is wander around the maze, find a key, and find a way out using the key, which is usually indicated by a door on the ground which is a keyhole. Sometimes you will find rooms with more than one of these doors which will make you feel like you're in a larger environment than you thought you would be in. While going through the maze you have to open chests which can either have gold coins or traps which take health away. Pick up items which can aid you on your journey from teleporting teleporting to fireball or even potion to heal you. Avoid trap floors which can make you fall and hurt yourself and enemies which can be the grim reaper, a goblin, orc and various other things. With these aids and hazards aside, the game is actually quite addicting after a while and you can be playing for hours on end. The music in this game was elegantly composed by Rich Vreeland, or also known as Disasterpiece. He is known for his excellent chiptune style of music and his work on the Fez soundtrack. The music is beautiful and atmospheric at best. You don't feel rushed to do anything and it just fits with the tone of the game. Not completely dark, but mysterious in its own way. If you want to check this game out, just google Fames or go to One More Level's website. You should be able to find it on the top ranks of the website.